Hey, welcome back to another awesome tutorial with me, Ken Bessa. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a local installation of WordPress and we'll be using XAMPP. But first of all, what is XAMPP? Now, XAMPP is a completely free and open source development environment that allows WordPress users to build and host websites locally in their machines without the need for internet connection. That means you can continue interacting with websites that you've built without the need for internet connection. In full, XAMPP stands for, the X stands for cross-platform Apache, MySQL or MySQL, PHP, and Perl. According to WordPress, in the context of a network, a local host is the specific computer you're working on right now. So if you're at an office right now, the computer you're using is your local host. If you're working from home, your computer at home is your local host. If you have a favorite computer at a cyber cafe, that computer can be your local host as well. You can have XAMPP on any of these machines and install WordPress there and start building websites from there. So let's look at how to set up a local host using XAMPP. So here we are on the official XAMPP download page and the URL is www.apachefriends.org slash index.html and you'll notice that we have different versions of XAMPP created for different operating systems. Because I'm using Windows, I'll go ahead and click XAMPP for Windows. The download should start automatically but I'm not going to download it because I had already downloaded it as you can see right here on my desktop I already have it. Next thing we want to do is go to the WordPress download page which is wordpress.org slash download scroll downwards and click this button right here to download the latest version of WordPress and I already have a copy of it I've already downloaded and extracted it it's on my desktop as you can see right here so download that WordPress and extract it to a place where you can retrieve it from so now that you have these two let's begin by installing XAMPP so I'll double click that and you'll get this warning prompt just go ahead and say yes continue with installation then follow the prompts should be pretty easy not complicated go all the way to the end and install XAMPP in its default C directory I already have a copy of it in my system so I'm not going to install it so once you've installed XAMPP and go inside your control panel and look at the list of all the programs you have you have installed in your machine you should find Bitnami WordPress module right there and XAMPP at the footer. Let me go ahead and close that. And inside your C drive or main drive, you will find a folder called XAMPP. That should tell you that you've successfully installed XAMPP in your machine. And before we move on to the WordPress folder, let's make sure our server is now running. So I'll open up XAMPP from the start menu. I'll bring it right here into focus and you'll notice that it has many buttons right here, but we're interested in only two buttons, Apache and MySQL. So click start on both of them and you'll notice that status has changed. Now MySQL is running and Apache is running. MySQL is the database and Apache is the server. So I'll go ahead and minimize that and let's move on to the next step. The next thing we want to do is pick the WordPress folder you just extracted and if we could just open it for a second, you will notice that it has many web pages here and a bunch of other folders with more files that will enable you to navigate your pages on your local website. So now that we've confirmed everything we need is inside there, 
copy it and then we'll open up Windows Explorer and go inside C open the XAM folder we just looked at and look for this folder htdocs this is where all your WordPress websites will be installed this is where you will have all your locally installed WordPress websites so if we paste it in here I think I had already pasted a copy of it so I already have a copy of it here but basically just paste this WordPress folder in this htdocs folder that's inside the XAMPP folder inside the C drive and once you've pasted it in there rename it to the name of your website so my web let me just call it my web all right so now that we've installed XAMPP in our system and it's running as you can see by this status right here and we've already downloaded a copy of WordPress and created a website from it and named it my web inside the XAMPP folder now we can go and access the WordPress website dashboard the dashboard of this website so let's go to localhost my web the name of your website or the name you gave to your folder and we'll be redirected to this page where we'll get started with the installation of WordPress so before we go further than this open up a new tab and go to localhost php my admin and the reason why we're going inside here is because our website doesn't have a database yet so we're going to create a database then we'll go back to this page and continue installing everything else so inside php my admin go ahead and hit databases and let's give it a name so my web underscore db or something of that sort just give it any name it doesn't really matter so that was my web db and you'll find it listed here here it is my web underscore db so now we can come back to this page and click let's go for the database name give it that new name we just named it so it's my web underscore db for the username let's give it root and for the password leave it blank <clears throat> then hit submit all right Sparky you made it through this part of the installation so next let's run the installation so right here we'll just provide basic information about our WordPress website and set the login credentials so the website is my web and then let's just go with admin for the username use a nice strong password but for now for illustration purposes I'll just go with polite then I'll confirm use of weak password my email p at k.com and I'll hit install WordPress let's give it a moment so there we go success WordPress has been installed thank you and enjoy let's log in with the credentials we just created admin our password was let me just reveal this it was my pass if I'm if I remember correctly wait what was my password uh, polite all right so there we have it so in summary or a quick recap anytime you want to create a new website locally in your machine all you have to do is copy this folder paste it in here give it a name another website copy this folder put it in here give it another name and so on and so forth make sure it's the original folder you downloaded 
the one you downloaded and extracted. So you can have 50, 70, 100 websites in here. And when you wanna go inside the dashboard, first of all, make sure that your XAMPP, your XAMPP, let me just bring this to focus, your Apache and MySQL are both running. So as long as these two are running, you should be able to open up your browser like that and go directly to your local host. Local host and the name of your website. And that's how to do it guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It always gives me motivation to keep going. And also hit the subscribe button to be getting videos like this in the future every time I post them. And as always, it's always a pleasure having you here. My name is Ken Bessa, signing out. Peace!